people of the hello people of the world world of the people and emmy because i know you're watching this and welcome to my new brand new youtube series on creating a website with a forum from scratch with no coding experience i'm gonna try to teach you everything i possibly can and i'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible so that way your grandma could follow along so, I hope you guys are going to enjoy the series and just have a lot of fun. So, you may be thinking, well, what's the point of learning web development? Why do I want to do something like that? Like, that sounds really stupid. But, in reality, this could give you a job, millions of dollars. It could teach you all kinds of important things, um, help you find all kinds of you know careers and stuff and just give you happiness and help you discover something that you'd never you never tried before so we're going to be learning about html which is how you build websites and php which is how you talk to databases and store things so i'm going to give you an awful example of what we're building um so i'm going to jump over to my website which looks awful because i'm not a web developer i am a what's it called a, a back-end developer as you could say so you can sign up for this website you can log in um it's not super secure it's it's the it's got the basic security so it, it's very basic but whether you're an advanced you know web developer who knows nothing about php or you're just a brand new person to to all of this like uh like I know you are Emmy. I hope you um I hope you can follow along and you can enjoy the tutorial series. So to do this, we're going to need two programs. The first one is a text editor, one like a uh, Notepad, which comes with every Windows installation. <clears throat> and we're also going to need a server. And a server is basically what's going to give the data to our users. And the server we're going to be using is called WAMP server. So if we Google WAMP server, and we go to the first one that pops up, this French stuff, wait for it to load up, beautiful mad science guy, scroll down, click on this downloads, and then click on uh, download directly. And now this will take you to a SourceForge page, which it's gonna it's gonna take a second. That's how SourceForge works. Uh, beautiful underwear uh, ad right here. So now it's gonna start downloading, and you want it to download. So you just wait a bit uh, for it to finish, and when it does, you can push the Windows key and the E key to take you into the Windows Explorer which should show up right here, or you can just click this little thing at the bottom. And now go into the downloads over here on the left, or anywhere you see it, you just click on downloads. And what it should have downloaded is this little WAMP server, Apache, MySQL, PHP, EXE, 64, bananas. <coughs> Excuse me. So you want to click on this, double click it, and wait a second and it'll pop up with this and you want to say yes and now it's gonna pop up with a bunch of windows you just want to say yes and next to all of them wait for everything to load you guys have probably installed a program before uh, at least I would hope so so when you get it installed um, it should show up on your desktop right here if you if you wanted that to happen uh, and before we run it there's something you have to do with with the WAMP server and other applications that use servers like Skype and maybe you don't have to do it with Discord but other ones like that and maybe even Mumble or anything like any program that lets you like talk online and stuff you may have to do this so click on Skype and now go up to the top and click call click audio settings inside of audio settings click advanced at the bottom and then click connection now, after clicking connection, uncheck this. This should not be checked. Now click save. Close Skype. Right click on Skype in the taskbar. Click exit Skype. <coughs> I'm sorry guys, I've got a little bit of a cold. Once Skype closes down, you can type Skype again if you want to open it again. 
And the reason you have to do that is so WAMP server doesn't get confused with Skype. Because if they do, WAMP server won't run correctly. So just let Skype open up if you want to keep it open. And then the next thing we need, like I told you, is we needed a text editor. And now you can use millions of different text editors. Like, there's all different kinds. Like, there's the Windows Notepad. You know, everyone has this. Just the, just the basic little poop you can you know type in there and save files and stuff you can also use notepad plus plus which is a great one um highly recommend it and this is the one we're going to be using for this series is called sublime text which is s-e-b-l-i-m-e text so google that and sublime text the text editor that you will fall in love with so this page will bring you here just go ahead and click on download for windows and it'll download that which will we, that won't take long and then you just want to run it and just say yes to everything that it asks you and sit next and continue and all that and then when you type in here you will be able to open up sublime text but we'll do that in just a minute so double click on this WAMP server on your desktop and just say yes give it permission to run and now it should turn from red to yellow to green if it doesn't turn to yellow or it does turn to yellow but it doesn't turn to green you can google the issue and if you can't find anything out that works um, try closing all of your programs that you don't need like try closing Skype try closing discord try closing steam all the programs that you possibly can uh, and if that still doesn't work, put a comment in the video, and I can probably try to help you with that. So once you get WAMP server running, go into your file explorer, or your Windows explorer, and then go into this, over here you should see something that says C. Like Windows C, or Acer C, or some kind of C. And now go and click on WAMP64. And that is where WAMP is, WAMP server. And then go inside this WAMP64 folder, you want to click on www. And inside www, here, let me delete this just so I can show you. You want to create a new folder, and you want to call it forum. And this is just where we're going to store our forum. Now, one thing I'll show you is, I'll show you what WAMP so to make sure you have WAMP server working in Chrome or whichever browser you type in, type in the word localhost and this should take you to this page about WAMP server. And localhost, it's kind of like how I showed you the foxarmy.com. Localhost is the website that WAMP server uses when it's installed. So if that doesn't work and it actually ends up Googling localhost, what you can do is you can type in HTTP colon slash slash, which means it's going to be a website. Then type in WAMP sir. Oh wait, no, sorry. Type in localhost. Boom. And that's how you access WAMP server. And we need to create. So we already made the folder called forum. Now inside of we need to run Sublime Text, which you probably got a desktop shortcut for. I don't. I don't like having many desktop shortcuts. So, but you just type in Sublime, and now you can run this. And what you want to do is you want to do file at the top right, and you, I mean top left, and now you want to go to, where is it, uh, open folder, and now you want to tell it to use, it's going to open up in your documents probably, so you want to go into, uh, sorry, C, and you want to go into that folder again, which is WAMP64, www, forum. And now you just want to say select folder and close this and you'll have this little window just maximize it and now we are ready to start typing up our code so just right click real quick we will get into coding in the next tutorial just right click on this forum and go to new file and the file we're gonna make it should show up here all you have to type is just type something here so like poop and now just push control s and now when you push control s or file save we want to call it index.html and the reason why we call it that is because that's what web server is going to look for is these html files 
Um, actually, we're gonna call it, sorry, index.php. Well, no, we'll just call it HTML for now. Boom. So, index.html, and you should see this right here. So now, if we just do Control S to save our work, and we go, well, we already did that. We go to Chrome, we go to localhost, boom. It should show up, uh, yeah, your projects. Click forum, oh, nope. Uh, what if it's broken? Type in localhost slash forum. And now it should show up, yep, it goes to, it goes to that index.html file. So this has been the first tutorial series in creating your creating an HTML forum with uh, PHP with no coding experience. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If the series has been too difficult so far, let me know. If you're excited, go ahead and slap a like on this and subscribe to keep up with what's going on. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch and whatever else I end up posting in the description. Um, Good luck with all your learning on this. If you have any questions, post them in the description. Try Google them first. But uh, until next time, you guys, uh, have a great day, and good luck.